In this video I'm going to look at simplifying these following expressions here. So let's have a look at the first one. We have part a is n to the 4 raised again to the power of 3. So this is the fourth index law where if you have a power raised to a power you multiply the power. So this means we're going to have n to the 4 times 3 which is n to the 12th. So n to the 4 to the 3 is n to the 12th. Okay, having a look at part b, we have 2ab cubed. So this is the fifth index law, which states that if you have multiple things multiplied together, all raised to the same power, then the power goes on to each individual item. So we have 2 cubed a cubed, b cubed, so everything becomes cubed in this case. And then 2 cubed, well 2 squared is 4, and then 4 times 2 is 8, so 2 cubed is 8. So we have 8a cubed, b cubed. So then we have part c, so we have 3a squared b to the 7, all cubed. So this is a sort of a combination of the fifth index law and the fourth index law. We'll deal with the fifth index law first because it says to raise everything to the power outside the bracket. So we're going to have 3 cubed, then times that by a squared cubed, then times that by b to the 7 cubed. Then we can work out what each of these evaluate to. So 3 cubed well, 3 squared is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. So we have 27a to the... Now we have to use the fourth index law. Multiply the powers to the 2 times 3. b to the 7 times 3. So we have 27a to the power of 6. b to the power of 21. Okay, so now looking at part D, we have 2x over y, all raised to the power of 4. So this is the sixth index law, which states that everything on the numerator gets raised to that power, and everything on the denominator gets raised to that power. So we're going to have 2 to the 4, x to the 4, divided by y to the 4. So then we can simplify this by working out what 2 to the 4 is. We worked out what 2 cubed is, is 8. So we know that 2 cubed equals 8. So 2 to the 4 is going to be 8 times 2, which is 16. So we'll have 16x to the 4, y to the 4. Okay, so now looking lastly at part E. We're going to have part E is we have 3x squared on 4y to the power of 5, all cubed. So again, raise everything to the power of 3 on the numerator and everything to the power of 3 on the denominator. So we have 3 cubed x squared cubed divided by 4 cubed y to the power of 5, all cubed. Okay, so now we want to work out what each of these are. 3 cubed, we've already worked that out, that's 27, so we have 27. x to the, you go to the fourth power law, a fourth index law, so 2 times x to the power of 2 times 3, divided by 4 cubed, well 4 squared is 16, 16 times 4 is 4 times 6 is 24, 4 times 1 is 4 plus 2 is 6, so we have 64, y to the power of 5 times 3. So then we have 27x to the power of 6 divided by 64 y to the power of 15.